Hello and welcome to this the first quick run through video for our latest device from Chaos Culture. This is the multi MIDI clip editor. Playing in the background we've got the uh, template set from F9 tracks better known as the Freemasons. They're releasing whole songs. Uh, they describe them as Ableton Live pages. You got the full arrangement set out. Great starting place if you're a beginner like me when it comes to actually producing music. You can see the song structure. They've loaded it with samples and importantly, MIDI clips with loads of multi-sampled instruments. Some proper old school stuff going on inside as well. Today I'm just going to be doing a little bit of editing and I'm going to focus on this particular clip here which is the picked bass along with this clip here which is the atmosphere pad. We just bring those into play and if I just pull those so that you can hear just those together. Now traditionally, if I wanted to edit the clips, I'd have to click on them, click between them, keep going, and any edits I make in one clip aren't visible in the other. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this Chaos, Chaos Culture multi-clip device, and I'm gonna drop it onto one of the MIDI tracks. As you can see, it's there. I click on the edit button. And you can see from the mouse symbol, I'm now clicking on both that I want. And if I go back to the picked bass, let's have a look at the multi clip editor. You see the picked bass there, so I have my notes in the pick bass and flicking between I've got that as such. Now the first thing you'll notice is that I'm working in a range mode. This also is compatible with session mode. The clever thing with working in a range mode is that the offsets of clips are preserved. So if for example in the timeline your picked bass started halfway between uh, the start and the end of the rise lead you'd see the notes offset across here. Now if you can use the piano roll in live, you can pretty much use the piano roll in here. You can double click to create notes. And with the command key and drag, you can move up and down. Now you notice in this picked bass clip, which is actually half the length of the atmosphere, Wicked. I've got a looped clip. So I can see the looped area and see the notes that would appear against the atmosphere. Atmosphere wise, same again, command, drag. I can then add some more clips in, double click them. And if I hover over the end, I can drag them in the same way that you can within an Ableton Live MIDI clip. There's many other elements of functionality within this device, one of which is to delete the notes as you put them, and we'll be covering those in future videos. Stay locked on to www.isotonicstudios.com and we'll keep you up to date with all the latest updates to this device. <laughs> 